गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज द वीडियो फॉर सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस दैट इज एवरी डे साइंस नाउ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू लेक्चर ऑन द चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री विच इज द सॉइल आई ऑलरेडी गिवन यू वन लेक्चर दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सॉइल and in this video i am going to give you the brief description on the layers of soil what are the various layers of soil as i already discussed with you that how soil formation of soil takes place how fine particles uh, uh, how breakdowns of uh, big rocks takes place and these fine particles the breakdown of uh, big rock into these small fine particles uh, this process is known as weathering and how the rock how the layers of soil are divided on the basis of their texture on the basis of their color so these uh, in this uh, lecture i am giving to give i am going to give you uh, the proper knowledge of layers of soil now the next one is layers of soil what is the meaning of layer of soil layer of soils mean the soil is divided into different layers uh, having many more layers in our soil the 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 mainly four main layers as we discussed in your book and as we discussed in this chapter the four layer the number one is top soil number two is sub soil number three is bedrock and number four is parent rock we people divided these layers in main four uh, four layers number 1 is top soil number 2 is sub soil number 3 is bedrock and number 4 is parent rock now the number 1 that is the top soil what is uh, here look at this diagram this is the diagram of layer of soil uh, very fine particles are here this is the part uh, which shows the top soil and after that we see that this is not these soils these layer not contain the fine particles having small particles and having rock like structure small rock like structure uh, present here so this is the second layer after these fine particles this is the much bigger than this layer these particles are much bigger than this layer and and uh, this is the subsoil layer and the next one is bedrock bedrock means having the very large rocks see look at this diagram this is the very large rocks which present inside the subsoil which present under the subsoil the next one is parent rock parent rock is uh, is uh, uh, also having very big in size in compared to bedrocks so this is the layer of parent rock only rock and rock inside the inside this layer so uh, it is very clear when we see this diagram that this is the big and very huge um, rocks and after that the some um, uh, the this rock that is the bedrock bedrock contains the small uh, big rock but it is comparatively smaller than this parent rock and then after that bedrock the next uh, layer is subsoil in this layer there is no fine particles like top soil but also not as big as bedrock rocks are there so this is the la layer which is termed as subsoil and the next one is a fine top soil top soil contains the fine particles it means very finest particles are present in this layer and uh, after this top soil there is a green plants it means the fine uh, the plants which is very uh, most uh, so very suitable to develop here only and this is the layer that is the top soil so uh, the layers of soil is divided into four main layers number 1 is top soil number 2 is sub soil number 3 is bedrock and number 4 is parent rock with the help of uh, this diagram this is very clear but now i am going to give you a small video clip uh, after that video i mm, i i discussed one by one layer in detail okay now look at this video look at this 3d model in this model i all i already divide divide divided very make very clear to you all that the different layers of soil the number one is top soil which contains humus which contains the dead remains of plants and animals that's why there this this layer is very fertile and the green plants develop here the second layer is sub soil which not find as top soil but this is the layer which is termed as subsoil the number third is bedrock bedrock having big rock but not like a parent rock 
yes here the, it is very clear that the weathering take place because of roots these the well developed roots of plant also cause the broken down of the big rocks and the last one is parent rock by the help of that particular 3d model we people are able to understand the different layers of soil the number one is top soil top soil the top most layer of the soil also called the top soil it is very fertile and rich in nutrients this layer is rich in nutrients because the top soil is very fertile and uh, th this is fertile layer because the dead remains of plants and animals decompose and forming the rich humus in this top soil and this humus makes the soil very fertile and the humus mm, uh, is also the darker in color that's why in that 3d model i uh, represent the humus layer that is the top soil layer is with black color okay so this is the layer of uh, this is about the top soil top soil is the top most layer of soil it also contains humus and uh, and very fertile and rich in nutrients it is need nutrients because the dead remains of plants and animals also decay in this layer only that's why this is very fertile and number 2 is subsoil subsoil the layer just below the top soil this is the layer which is just below the top soil and um, it is generally consist of many rocks like a structure not as fine as the top soil uh, this is this is the second layer and uh, about uh, subsoil it generally con contains the uh, stones and pebbles and the third one is bedrock bedrock this is the layer below the subsoil and has huge solid rocks huge it means that uh, not as fine as subsoil but uh, having big rocks this is termed as bedrock this is the layer below the subsoil and above the parent rock below the subsoil and has huge solid rocks this is the layer uh, which is termed as bedrock and uh, in this layer uh, it forms a non porous layer and allows the water to trickle down and collect as underground water underground water is collected in this layer because the, the, there is a, no having a space between rocks that's why it collects the underground water the last one is parent parent rock parent rock it's a, termed as parent rock because this is the rock this is the parents from which this soil is formed this is that's why it is termed as parent rock parent rock is the last layer of soil which underneath rocks and uh, this is the last layer of soil and which, which is the last layer this is the last layer and that's why this the soil with under mm, so soil with unweathered rocks it means having no crack having no uh, having no um, breakdown this is termed as the unweathered rock it means the weathering not takes take place here that's why it is termed as parent rock from this rocks this type of soil is formed the fine particles is formed so this is termed as parent rocks okay this is very clear the different layers of rocks with the help of video with the help of uh, um, these notes uh, write down and draw the clear diagram of layers of soil in your copy also and uh, use uh, different colors also to show that the humus contains in top so that's why this is little how black in color and uh, okay draw a neat and clean diagram also label the different layers with the help of some important points also okay by this uh, i have completed uh, my second lecture that is based on the different layers of soil thank you and uh, just continue your study and uh, in in coming lecture i am giving you a lecture about the components of soil and also the different types of soil soil which is classified on the basis of their color their texture so uh, continue with us and this is the second part this is the layer of soil so may uh, i also visualize all these layers with the help of 3d model and okay thank you continue your study from your home only good luck